What's up everyone? This video is just going to be me talking with some training in the background and then I'll play a couple of my matches from my most recent tournament. But it's just going to be me kind of reflecting on my arm wrestling journey to this point and some things I've learned along the way. First off, I started with arm wrestling in 2014 when Game of Arms started. I just happened to be scrolling through the TV one day and I saw the show Game of Arms. So I was like, hmm, I'll check this out. I had no idea professional arm wrestling was a thing. And it was just kind of an eye-opening experience watching it. But immediately the first episode or two had me hooked, literally and figuratively, I guess. And I haven't looked back since. I watched that the whole series, 10 episodes that summer. Found my first tournament all the way out in Amarillo, just a little tournament. I ended up taking first place and I guess maybe taking first place in my class in my first tournament had me a little cocky. And I found another tournament about a month later in Enid, Oklahoma. Went up there and got my butt kicked. And I, I mean, it just made me kind of reflect and realize that, wow, this stuff is really pretty serious. And if I'm ever going to be good, I'm going to have to take it seriously. So I basically started out with just gym training didn't really have anyone to practice with at the time so basically 2014 my next uh tournament was spring of 2015 i've been getting quite a bit stronger in the gym so i thought man this next tournament i may do pretty well at still doing amateurs um it was one of the wal local events in 2015, I think I was 23 at the time, maybe. And I got my butt absolutely kicked by this, I want to say he was 14 years old, Max. And he absolutely handed it to me. And that was honestly pretty discouraging. Me, 23-year-old, getting my butt kicked by this skinny little 14-year-old. And at that point... I don't know if I was ready to give it up per se. I was just pretty discouraged by that result and just didn't really know what to do from there. But anyways, I kept training in the gym. Um, my next tournament was in the fall of 2015. Finally got my first win in a tournament since that very first tournament I'd went to the year prior. First win in a round. Um, Shortly thereafter that, I found this group to practice with up in Enid, Oklahoma. And that was the first time up to that point that I had had any sort of training partners. And I practiced consistently from October, September, October of 2015 through April of 2016. And I was could feel myself getting consistently better consistently stronger on the table and in the gym but the important part was that I was getting table time pretty much every week and I could noticeably tell a difference and I was doing pretty well both right and left-handed in 2016 and then I didn't have another tournament until maybe that summer or maybe it was the fall of 2016, I don't quite remember. But in the winter of 2016, going into 2017, I uh, decided to come back to school to get a second degree. And from that point, from 2017 to 2018 into 2019, I really didn't have any consistent training partners, per se, on the table I would get. A handful of practices a year really most of my training was just in the gym getting stronger on cable lifts and whatnot um, and I could tell my performance in tournaments started to decline again when I wasn't getting that table time and then 2019 to this point honestly my training's been pretty sporadic mostly in the gym I would try to go practice when I can about once a month, once every two months, really. And that kind of brings me to where I am now. I told myself, really, then my entire career up to now, 
I told myself I'm not going to start pulling the pro class until I get a win in an amateur class at a tournament. And I finally got that win this last December 2020. I won the 176 pound left hand class at the USAA Pro Am in Hinton. And I kind of got my butt kicked right handed. I won the left hand class. And I told myself, well, that's it. I'm one in the amateur class, like I said, so I'm not pulling amateurs anymore. And that brings me to the current point in time with this uh, last oh, weekend or two ago. My first uh, tournament pulling the pro class is the event with the Fatal Four Way with Chance, uh, Chance Shaw, Don Underwood, Aiello, and Jordan Sill. That was the first tournament I pulled pro class, and as you can see by this footage, I got absolutely worked. Yeah, I was one of those guys that pulled amateur classes for years. Um, I mean, I was in and out of the sport. I was never consistently practicing except for that one stretch from fall of 2015 into the spring of 2016, just in and out, never consistently practicing, so I just never felt prepared really to pull pro class which brings me to the biggest takeaway from this video i want y'all to get is to be successful in this sport you have to become comfortable with being uncomfortable it's the only way to progress in this sport as you can tell in both of these pulls i was extremely uncomfortable just gripping up with this guy right here I was uncomfortable from the get-go. The moment I put my elbow down on that pad, just his hand, just everything intimidating. And I just wasn't really ready for it. Same way with this guy right here. I had pulled him oh, a couple years back, I think. He'd beat me right-handed, and I thought this was my chance to get revenge. He had one of those no-load setups, which I've never dealt with before. So, again, it was just uncomfortable for me. I wasn't prepared for that. I've known for years that I probably should just be pulling the pro class even though I'm gonna get smacked, but I'm never gonna be prepared for these types of situations. Like a super strong hand like this guy or that no load like the next guy. I'm never gonna be prepared for those situations if I keep pulling the amateur class. I just need to step it up and start taking my licks in the pro class. I can learn so much more in the pro class than I could ever learn from amateur class. Which brings me back to my point. To be successful in the sport, you have to become comfortable with being uncomfortable. And in this case, it was being uncomfortable gripping up with a guy with an extremely strong hand or being uncomfortable with this guy right here with a no load that I've never really experienced before. Or you could be uncomfortable practicing your outside moves when you're an inside guy or vice versa, practicing in a hook instead of top rolling like you're used to you just have to become comfortable with all the uncomfortable stuff with pulling the pro class if you're not used to it with traveling five hours to a tournament where you're not going to know anybody or being uncomfortable practicing with people you've never practiced before you just have to become comfortable with being uncomfortable you can't be afraid to lose in this sport it's going to happen whether you're an amateur just starting out or a pro that's been doing it for 20 years, you can't be afraid to lose. You just got to jump in and just go for it. I never really was scared of the pro class per se. I had pulled tournaments where there was no pro or amateur class. It was just everybody all lumped together. I was just realistic about my abilities, my, my strength. I just knew I wouldn't be able to win in the pro class, so why bother? Like if I couldn't even win an amateur class, why should I attempt even pulling pros? But looking back now, I've realized that it only hindered my progress of the sport. It may have helped my ego a little bit by not losing, getting smacked around in the pro class, but it hindered my progression as a puller. On a side note, just commentating on this training video right here, it's kind of a new PR for me for cupping and side pressure. It, was about an 80, 81 pounds, just cupping it 10 times and then just kind of pressing it at the end of the 10. Got harder on the ninth rep right there, but my cupping 
is and my cupping and inside game has always been my strength but it just felt really good for this clip in particular that I kind of weighed it out as 81.4 I think but back to kind of what I was talking about I do think everyone should start pulling an amateur I don't think they should just jump right into the deep end and start pulling pros I think everyone should pull amateurs when they first start out till they get their technical bearings in the sport maybe get a little stronger than when they very first started but I do think as soon as a puller feels technically comfortable I think they should go ahead and jump into pros and not wait around in the amateur class as long as I did along with jumping into pros as soon as you kind of feel comfortable with it I need to hammer home the importance of table time you can lift all the weights in the world, but if you never get the table time, you won't progress near as fast as you would with that table time. In an interview uh, Devin did with John Brzezink for his upcoming match with Chance, they kind of started talking about strength training in addition to arm wrestling. And there's a comment from John. He said he increased his bench from about 200 to 400, but his arm wrestling ability was still basically the same. And he just kept hammering home the importance of to get better at arm wrestling, you have to arm wrestle. You got to get that table time. With that being said, don't just go hammer away at arm wrestling practice every day of the week. You do have to kind of know your limits when you first start out maybe when you get a few years into the sport your tendons and joints can kind of withstand practicing multiple times a week like that but just kind of gradually start out and increase that table time over time to where you're doing it once or twice a week a great sort of example of the importance of table time is myself um, over the years there's been guys that i've had wins on in tournaments and have been able to kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with and practices they're competing and doing really well in pro classes against some pretty big name pullers and I'm just now getting out of amateurs just starting in pros and getting my butt kicked and it just makes me think where I could be in the sport right now if I had consistently gotten table time the entire seven years or so that I've kind of been in and out of the arm wrestling world. And really I have no one to blame for that other than myself. I have hindered my own progression in the sport by not being comfortable with the uncomfortable, by not making myself drive to practices even though the closest practice to me is an hour plus away, I need to make that sacrifice if I ever want to truly start growing in the sport again. I'll go ahead and kind of wrap up my rambling on here with this. Winning now or the prospect of winning now in the pro class doesn't seem near as far away as it seemed when I was just starting out in the amateur class. I think for the most part, now I have a lot of the strength I need to compete in the pro class I just need to get my butt on the table and get that table time that table conditioning and start really practicing the the finer points the finer movements of the sport that is arm wrestling all the little technical nuances I'll just kind of leave y'all with this it's probably geared a little more towards the the newer pullers the brand new or the pullers that have been in for a year or two i've said it a bunch in this video and i'll say it one more time get comfortable being uncomfortable once you get your technical bearings in the sport once you've pulled amateur class a couple times and kind of understand how tournaments are ran go ahead and jump into the pro class don't be like i was for so long pulling the pro class is how you get better in the sport you learn so much more from losses in the pro class than you'll ever imagine learning from a win in the amateur class so get out there practice as much as your body can handle be smart about it supplement your table time with 
some strength training. Don't supplement your strength training with the table time. Table time is most important. That's how you're going to progress in this sport. Thank you.